Alright guys, I'm here to show you how to do a little bit extra with your lobsters this lobster season. Right here I've got a whole pile of antennas, and right here I've got a whole pile of legs from this past mini season. I'm going to be taking this air compressor, or in my case a scuba tank, but you can use an air compressor. A little bitty nozzle, shoots air, I'm going to be blowing all the meat out of this stuff. Uh, most people just end up throwing all this stuff in the water when they get done. I'm going to start off with these, these antennas here. You go through, just pop it off to where it makes a little hollow hole big enough for your needle to go through. Stick it in there, give it a little shot. Shoots it out just like a straw. That's what you end up out of an antenna. Pretty good little chunk of meat there. Here are a couple of legs. Now most of the Keys lobsters you're not going to do this on just because their legs aren't very big. This right here is a pretty good sized lobster. It's over five pounds so they got plenty of meat inside the legs so it's totally worthwhile. I just inject this needle up by the foot. Hold my thumb over this little soft part of the cartilage. A little shot of air. That's what just came out of that. Solid meat, no tendons in it at all. Do a couple more of those real quick. Inject the needle. A little shot of air. I like using the buckets because it gets kind of messy. You definitely want to do this outside. It's all, all good meat, good for bisques. If you want to batter it and deep fry it, it's awesome. You can even cut it up into some smaller chunks and make some scampi out of it. I like to try to save everything that I can. And it's all, all good meat that doesn't need to go back in the water. Do another, another antenna for you real quick. And this is the method that you want to use on a full antenna. I know a lot of them break off. I'll show you that in a second. Oh, that was a good one. You, you can just see it hanging so you know I'm not just pulling your leg. Alright, I'll show you what to do if the antenna breaks off. Wash that off later. I got this other other nozzle or other tip. For the sake of argument, I'll just break this one off. So now you don't have the tip, the needle point's not going to get enough uh, back pressure on it, it'll just blow out the back end. And this one almost does the same thing, so some, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't on the ones that are broken. So just try to, try to hold it and cover as much of the back as possible, and you got a good chunk of meat. Quit throwing them in the water, start using them, it's not that hard to do, you get a ton of meat in the end. This is just out of a couple. It's all good stuff. Give it a shot.